Good morning to one and all. Today we will continue our part two of addressing mode. In the previous session, we have discussed about the addressing modes, the first three addressing modes. Those are immediate, direct and register addressing modes we have discussed in the previous session. Okay. If you want to see those addressing modes, I'm placing the link in the description box you can go through that one okay today's in the today's session we are going to discuss about the remaining addressing modes in that the fourth addressing mode is register indirect addressing modes okay the register indirect addressing mode in this register indirect addressing mode what is meant by this one here we use a processor register as the name indicates that register. In this addressing mode, we must have to use a processor resistors. Here, the processor resistor is mainly used to hold the address of the memory location. The content in the processor resistor is always the address of the memory location where the actual data is placed. This type of instructions are called it as register indirect addressing modes. We will explain with neatly with an example. Okay. Basically, this register indirect addressing modes are mainly used in pointer sections. This is mainly used in pointer sections. Whenever you require a pointer sections, there you can use this type of addressing modes. Okay. See here the example. If suppose I'm having an example like this move move r2 comma r5 if suppose i have given an instruction like this here we have placed a parenthesis bracket for r2 resistor what it indicates whenever you place a bracket to a resistor processor resistor it indicates that the content or the value in the R2 resistor is a always address, not the data. <clears throat> what it indicates, whenever you place a parenthesis to a resistor, it indicates the content in this resistor will be always a address, address of a memory location. Whenever you give an instruction like this, it indicates that, what it indicates? The content in R2 resistor, the content in R2 resistor is a memory location where it will go for memory location and the corresponding is data is taken and placed in the R5 resistor. Okay. This indicates that this instruction states that whenever you give a parenthesis or bracket to a resistor, it indicates that the value in this R2 resistor is an address. It will indicate that address. The, then that corresponding address, when we went to that corresponding address, there the actual data will be reside from where the data is moved into R5 resistor. Suppose, see here, you can see here. Suppose this is a processor resistors. I'm having a processor resistors like this. These are processor resistors. Okay. This is R1. So and so resistors I'm having. Suppose this is R1, R2, and so on up to this is R5 resistor. Okay. So first this instruction R2 resistor will come here, processor resistor. It will come to the processor resistor R2 resistor where it resides a value. This 2000 is not a data. This 2000 is a address. Now the content in the R2 resistor is a address of a memory location. Now this it will go to the 2000 memory location in a memory. Okay, suppose this is 1960 and so on up to this is a 2000 location I'm having. Now, this will go for 2000 memory location here. This it is having a data known as 68. This 
6A will transfer to R5 resistor. This way of addressing a data is called it as resistor indirect addressing mode. That means you can see here, see here, the, whenever you're giving a parenthesis to the R2 resistor, then the value in the R2 resistor will automatically become the address of the memory location. Okay, so now the 2000 is present in the R2 resistor, which indicates that 2000 is a memory location. So in the memory, it will go for the 2000 memory location. The value in this 2000 memory location is the actual data or the operand, which has to be moved into R5 resistor. The value or the data in the 2000 memory location is 6A. This 6A is transferred or moved towards R5 resistor. Okay, this way of addressing mode is called it as resistor indirect addressing mode. Okay, thank you all.